All right, folks, so what I want to do is give you a quick, super quick introduction into timers, which is a, a really important part of uh, Visual Basic if we want to make something happen, like an animation or something that needs to happen over time. Um, so how are we going to do that? We're going to start by uh, giving some objectives. Um, we're going to learn how to use timers to, like I said, repeat something every once in a while, which is a, the word periodically. Um, and we're going to learn how to adjust some of the properties of timers, like enabled and its interval. All right, so we'll start by talking about timers in general, discussing why they're different from loops. Then we'll talk about some of those properties of, of timers I just mentioned, and then I'll show you some examples. So here we go. So what's the difference between a timer and a loop? A loop repeats continuously uh, until a condition is met, right? So for example, here's our do while loop. This one is going to loop until counter is less than 10. And one thing that is, is, is interesting about a loop is that a loop goes over and over and over again as fast as the computer can go until it's done. And the thing that will make it stop is when some variable is less than or greater than 10 or something like that. Okay, so the do while loop happens immediately. It happens continuously over and over again until it's done. Uh, on the other hand, a timer repeats continuously, but only runs every once in a while, only runs after a specified interval. So for example, you can make something happen every 0.1 seconds. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So the difference is that a loop happens over and over and over again as fast as the computer can do until it's done, whereas a timer goes off every 0.1 seconds, every one second, whatever you want. Um, but it specifies a time interval, and then it does something after that interval has happened. So it's about time as opposed to how fast the computer can go. So here's how we add timers. Uh, they're, they're, you get them from the, to, to add them to the form just like you get a text box or a button. It's just a, an object on the side that you can pick to drag into your form. And I'm going to show you how to do it in a second. Uh, and, and though you can't actually see it when you run your program, it's going to appear in Visual Studio. So let me show you what I mean. Here's Visual Studio. I'm going to actually delete the timer I put there already. And then on your side over here, you can find the timer. Here it is. And you just drag it right onto your form. Okay, and it doesn't actually appear on the form itself. It shows up down here, and when you run the program, and there's nothing in this program right now, but when you run the program, you won't actually see the timer anywhere. Okay, it just sort of exists in, a, in a, an imaginary place. Okay, so that's how you add it. Let's talk a couple seconds about different properties. There are two main properties that you need to know about the timer. The first one is its enabled property. So it said timer1.enabled. Okay, this is what turns the timer on and off. So if you have enabled equal to true, then the timer is on. It's going, it's going over and over and over again. If you have timer one dot enabled equals to false, then the timer is off. It's not going to run any code uh, when it goes. Okay, uh, it's false by default. It should say by default, which means that when you just add the the, the timer to there, it's going to start as false. Okay, it's not going to start as true, which means it's going to be off when the program starts. Okay, and then that's turning it on and off. Now let's talk about the interval. The interval controls the amount of time between each, between each timer's like run. So the, if, if you want something to happen every one second versus every two seconds versus every point one seconds, we have to change the interval property. Okay, and it's measured in milliseconds. So if I want the timer to go off every second, then I can say timer one dot interval equals a thousand because there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. If I want it to be 0.2 seconds, I could say timer one dot interval equals 200. And now let me show you, you don't have to do this in the code with timer one dot enabled or timer one dot interval. Instead, you can do it uh, back in Visual Studio. When you have clicked on the timer, here it is, timer one, I can of course change its properties over here. I can make sure this timer starts out as enabled and let's set the interval to be 1000. Okay, so what does the timer actually do? I'm going to show you an example now. If I double click on the timer, it will bring up the code window for this timer. And you can see it says timer1.tick, or sorry, underscore tick, which means timer1, when it goes off, any code I put between private sub and end sub here will execute every time the timer goes off. And I just set the timer's uh, interval to be 1,000. So the timer's going to go off every second because it's 1,000 milliseconds. And it's, it's set to enabled, which means the timer's on as soon as the program starts. Now, you can change that enabled thing with a button or something like that. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to add a, a, a label to my form. And I'm going to change its back color to be black. So it's just like a black box. OK. And I'm going to use this timer to make a little animation. OK. So every one second this timer is going off. I'm going to say label at every one second. I'm going to say label one dot left equals label one dot left plus 10. 
Okay, and that means that every second this timer is going to execute and it's going to say, all right, take the left property of the label and add 10 to it, which is going to move the box to the right. So if I hit play, here we go. Every second we should see the box moving across the screen, which we do. So the timer's going every second, right? And every second we're adding a little bit to the left property of this box. All right, maybe we can do something a little bit more interesting. Why don't we add a button to the form? Okay. Uh, I'm going to act, actually add two buttons. Okay. The first button is going to say uh, stop, start. And that's going to stop or start my, uh, my animation. Okay. And button two is going to say high speed, low speed. Okay. And let's just code each of these buttons really quickly. So I want to make it so stop, start, stops or starts the timer. So we can say if timer1.enabled equals true, which means that it's currently enabled, then make timer1.enabled equal to false. Else make timer1.enabled equal to true. Okay, so what's happening? I'm saying if the timer's on, then turn it off. Otherwise, that means that it wasn't on in the first place, turn it on. Okay, so there we go. I've got a if, else, and end if statement that's going to start and stop my black box from moving. So it starts on, but if I hit stop, it should stop. And there it has stopped. And if I hit start, it should start going again every second, moving across. Because I'm enabling and not enabling the timer. It's making the timer working or not working. Okay, now let's try to do our high speed, low speed. So to do this, we can change the interval of the timer. And I'll say if timer1.interval equals 1,000, which is what it starts with, then let's make it go to high speed. We'll say dot .interval equals 100. Now the, uh, the, the, the timer is going to go 10 times as fast, right? Because it's going every uh, 100 milliseconds instead of 1,000. Otherwise, if it's not 1,000, that means it's 100. So let's make it go back to 1,000 again. All right, let's run our program. And here we go. We've got the stop start button. You've already seen if we go to high speed, it's going to happen more fast. And then we can go to low speed and turn that timer interval back down again. So hopefully that gives you some ideas about, uh, about how to use timers. Um, so there's going to be some vocabulary for this. You should write it down now. The vocabulary will be timers and then the two properties for that, enabled and interval. Good luck.